What's up guys, so uh, this is part 2 of my money making guide for free to play players. Um, if you haven't seen part 1, just click on the screen and it will take you there. So I hope you enjoy, this um, guide has, just like the previous one, 5 methods that are for higher levels and lower levels, so enjoy! So to start the video off, we're gonna be doing something easy, we're gonna make soft clay, you don't have to have any requirements for this, all you need are some buckets and some clay. On screen you can see that I'm doing um, the bucket filling and edge fill, I do this here because the water source is the nearest to a bank. Um, you can also buy the buckets of water from the Grand Exchange, but that um, will cost you some profit in the long run, and since it's really fast, yeah, you just fill them up yourself, as you can see I'm already... Uh, I already have a full inventory, this uh, clip was not sped up or anything like that. Then just go back to the bank, repeat the process until you're happy. Um, once you have all the buckets that you want, um, just take out 14 pieces of clay and 14 buckets of water. Use a bucket of water on the clay and then select the all option. Now to maximize your profit, you can also mine the clay yourself, but I wouldn't recommend it since it really takes a long time. And we're yeah, going for the maximum amount of profit in the shortest amount of time. So as you can see this is also very fast. And in a moment I will price check it. So yeah you made around um, 700 GP per inventory. 650 GP depending on the price. So uh, for beginning players this is really nice. Um, just um, we'll, This will get you some startup cash. And yeah as you can see I'm just price checking everything. Okay, so for our second method, we're gonna be killing hill giants. The requirements are that you are at the beginning combat level. The hill giants are level 28, so keep that in mind. I also recommend you buy a brass key of the Grand Exchange. Um, you also can get the key without paying for that, but I uh, won't show this, uh, show that in this video, because uh, otherwise it would get way too long. But if uh, anyone wants to know that, uh, if only one person asks, I will make a separate video for that. So, uh, as you saw, there are two locations where you can kill them. If you want to kill them in a safe area, you will need the brass key. So that's why I recommend you buy one. And, and also, in this cave, you can safe spot the hill giants. Uh, what that is, is when you use range or mage, you can uh, stand in an area where the monsters can't hit you, which I'm showing right now. <coughs> um, I'm uh, gonna show you all the areas in this cave where you can safe spot the monsters. Also, in the description, I will have a link to the wiki of uh, the old school uh, RuneScape, uh, which shows you all the drops uh, the hill giants uh, have, so you know uh, what you want to loot and what you want to, um, yeah, don't want to loot. Primary uh, loot that you want to pick up are the big bones and the limp roots. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, just uh, save spot them in this cave. Uh, if you're using melee, it's really easy. You just uh, yeah go stand on a location where they spawn and kill them with melee. And that's about it about this part. Uh, I'm gonna show you now how to kill them in the world on this. So now I'm gonna show you the best way how to kill the hill giants at the second location, which is in the wilderness. Bring your uh, four best items. If you don't have 25 prayer, bring your three best items because once you're level 25 prayer, you can protect the fourth item. Also, uh, bring a teleport back to Falador. So I recommend you have 25 magic, but you can also just walk back. If you need to recharge your prayer, there's a chapel right uh, here when you walk there, as you can see right there. So also how much food do you need to bring, uh, that's kind of depending on your combat level. Me personally, uh, 3 food is from, is enough, but it all depends on your combat stats. So just go uh, do a few trips and you'll uh, find out yourself. Uh, so once you're here, we're at the spawn right now, you saw how to get there from the uh, small bank from Farrokh. Um, so there are two spawns right here, you kill one and yeah, just loot stuff and I'm gonna show you where the second one is. Uh, the second one is right there. Uh, they uh, will spawn really fast so if you're done killing one, the other is already spawned. So yeah, that's pretty nice. So you're probably wondering how much money do you make from this. Um, it all depends on how fast you can kill them. Uh, me personally, uh, I think it's uh, one of the better ways to make some money and train your combat level in free to play. So yeah, if you're um, around level uh, 30 or 40, I recommend you start doing this because it's it's not bad money at all, and yeah, you get some combat experience. So all right, I'm gonna yeah, I found a, an iron helmet, so I put it on. But um, yeah, that's about it. And like I said, if anyone wants to know where the brass key is. 
uh, just um, yeah, ask in the comment section below. So for our third money making method we're going to be mining gold ore in the crafting guild. The requirements are that you have 40 crafting, 40 mining and I highly recommend you have 37 magic so you can teleport back to Faldor. The items you need is uh, a pickaxe and a teleport back to Faldor and of course a brown apron to get into the crafting guild. So I showed you where to start this trip. You start at the big bank in uh, Faldor, uh, wear your brown apron to get into the crafting guild and just uh, enter and walk to the mining patch where there are are seven gold uh, ores you can mine. Uh, a lot of the worlds are empty. You just um, yeah, I just got uh, unlucky there, but uh, I hopped only once and I found a new world. So um, yeah, mine the rocks. Um, once you have a full inventory, just teleport back to Faldor, bank all your ores, and repeat the process. And um, that's about it. Really easy. Uh, it has some higher requirement. Uh, requirements but if you want to train your um, yeah, mining in a free to play world and also make some money this is a perfect method to do um, the money per hour depends on your mining level and uh, just keep that in mind but uh, one trip will get you uh, around let's see uh, 10k just uh, depending on the GE price but it's not bad so for the fourth money making method um, you're gonna be grabbing nature runes in the wilderness uh, you need 31 magic and I highly recommend you have a bit more HP um, also you will need uh, your best armor and air staff and loads of law runes so as you can see this is my setup um, just um, equip your best armor because we're not gonna get a skull so you won't lose it if we die um, if you're still not comfortable bringing your rune just bring some dehyde it's a lot cheaper also bring the best food possible and uh, free to play that's um, swordfish um, if everything is going all right we won't be eating any of those um, yeah but bring uh, some in case you do get attacked uh, as you saw on screen um, we're gonna go to pretty deep wilderness so keep in mind uh, to always have uh, above 50 or 60 percent run so you can escape uh, almost every anyone uh, so you can yeah run back to 20 or 25 wilderness to teleport back to Falador. So and what we are going to be doing is there is an island in deep wilderness where I'm going right now so you know how to get there but there is an island and uh, on that island uh, there are uh, two nature rune spawns one holds uh, three nature runes and one holds four so you only use two law runes to get seven nature runes which is a pretty nice profit uh, also no one almost no one knows of this money making method so all the worlds are free I'm also going to show that in this video, but alright, so we arrived. As you can see, this island can be accessed any other way, so you have to have 31 magic to telekinab grab them. And yeah, I'm just going to price check them in a bit, but let me talk a bit more about um, how you can optimize your profit and yeah, how you can uh, do this money making method the best. So, um, to bring your best armor, try to have 25 prayer before doing this so you can protect another item. Bring the best food uh, that you have so you can run all the way back to the safe area uh, where you can teleport. And yeah, like I said, um, be, be uh, careful, this is a multi, uh, multi area so you can get attacked by multiple enemies. But it's still free to play so it, it won't be too bad. And I'm switching to all uh, free to play worlds right now and as you can see no one is doing this trick. And it's a really fast profit. The only thing is um, you risk a lot of law runes when you come here. So I recommend once you made like 50 or 100k you just uh, run back to the bank, bank your nature runes and repeat the process. So um, what I'm showing right now is to set up a hotkey. Um, this will help you um, switch from world or log out really fast. I also use the hotkey for my mage book which is uh, F6. So once I use F6 I will switch to my mage book and right now once to switch uh, once I press F12 I'm switching to my world switcher. So that's really nice to uh, speed up the process. And as you saw I started with 200 law runes and I have 100 left and this is how many uh, nature runes you can grab when you have um, 100 law runes with you. Uh, and big important thing is uh, don't um, use all your law runes because you still want to teleport back to the city. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. 
So for the last money making method of this video we're going to be picking up Ash. You don't need any requirements and you won't need any items. Probably like what the hell is he showing us now. And yeah it's not the best money making method, uh, absolutely not. But uh, like I said in the beginning of this video I make methods for everyone. There are some methods in, the vi in this video with higher requirements and this one doesn't have any requirements. So if you're a new player and looking to make some big cash, um, some quick cash, sorry. <laughs> Um, this is ideal, um, this video clip is not sped up, so um, I believe I filled like an inventory of ashes in like one, um, one and a half minute, so you can do this as well, just find um, um, a world where people are fire making, pick up all their ashes, ashes and sell them in the ground exchange for a quick profit, um, this is only like 60k per hour, like I said if you're a new player. And this is pretty nice to get some startup cash and yeah, start training your skills so you can do the other money making methods. So um, that's about it. And um, the reason why uh, people buy these ashes is because um, in the members world, people use them uh, to train their herb lore level. So they will always sell in the grand exchange. And I'm going to show you that right now once I pick up this last ash. And yeah, like I said, I did this in around like mm, one and a half minute. So yeah, uh, do the calculations and you'll make around 60 to 70k per hour, depending on um, for how much the ashes um, yeah, sell. So those were 5 free to play money making methods, uh, this was part 2, there will probably be a part 3, I'm not sure when, but uh, if you have any feedback or if you want to know any more information, just um, put that in the comment section down below, also I will have some helpful links in the description. Um, yeah, if you could like the video, I would uh, appreciate that a lot. Maybe subscribe, that would even help me out more. So, um, I got a lot of um, free to play videos coming out in the future uh, to help you guys. Maybe some member videos, but uh, we'll see. Uh, once again, everyone is welcome in my clan chat, and uh, yeah, see you next time, guys.